Welcome back to Horror Month, and we got a very spooky tale to tell you tonight. So let's open up the ghost trap and see what's inside for you tonight. Okay, what do we have here? Tonight's story is the Haunted House Party. Donald Duck was eating breakfast with his three nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Here is the morning paper, Uncle Donald, said Dewey. Thanks, said Donald. I wonder what the news is. Donald read the front page. Listen to this, boys, he said. There is going to be a costume party over at the haunted house. I think I will dress up like one of the three musketeers. Sounds great, said Dewey. Are you going to ask Daisy to go with you? Of course, said Donald. Daisy loves to go out with me. He ran for the phone. Donald called Daisy's number. Hi, Daisy, he said. How about going to the costume party? It will be a lot of fun. What? Oh, I see. Sure. Bye. Donald slammed down the phone. Who does she think she is, he yelled. She says she's going to the party with somebody else. Somebody big and strong. Somebody who can fight off ghosts if the place is really haunted. Don't worry, Uncle Donald, said the boys. Things will work out. Don't get so upset. Upset, yelled Donald. I'm not upset. Come on, fellas, said Dewey. Let's think of a way to help Uncle Donald. Soon the boys had a perfect plan. We will dress up like giant bats, said Huey. And when the party is going strong, said Dewey, we will fly in and scare everybody silly, said Louie. And then you can chase us away, said Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Great idea, boys, said Donald. I will get rid of the giant bats and be the hero of the evening. Daisy will be sorry that she didn't come with me. It's a good plan. It's a good plan. The night of the party came and Donald got dressed. He put on his jacket and his hat and then he tried out his sword. Take that! Donald took a long look at himself in the mirror. I will be the best looking duck at the party, he said. Bye bye, boys, called Donald. See you later. The haunted house was on the edge of town. Donald gulped when he saw the place. Maybe Daisy is right, he said. Maybe ghosts do live in that house. Donald took a deep breath and walked up to the haunted house. The door opened before he could knock. Donald expected to see a ghost, but it was only a dog dressed like a hobo. Hello, Donald, said the dog. Come in. Donald walked in and looked around. He saw Daisy dancing with a pirate. Poof, said Donald. She came with Gladstone Gander. He's no stronger than I am. This is such a nice party, said Daisy to Gladstone. The haunted house isn't scary at all. But someone was watching Daisy from the window. It was a giant bat. Oh boy, the bat said to himself. Daisy is in for a big surprise. Just then, Gladstone Gander looked up. He saw three bats at the window. Help, giant bats, he cried. Run. The party guests screamed and ran. Wait, called Donald. Donald ran over to the bats and waved his sword. Look at him, said the witch. Donald is so brave. Oh dear, said Daisy. I hope he doesn't get hurt. Scram, yelled Donald. Get out of here, you giant bats. Without a sound, the bats turned and ran off into the dark night. Donald jumped down from the window. He put away his sword and dusted himself off. Donald is wonderful, said everyone. He is a hero. Gladstone snorted. Donald is just a show off, he said. Come on, Daisy, the music is starting. Dance with a real hero, me. But before long, something else happened. The lights went out. Look up there, somebody screamed. At the top of the stairs, there stood a tall, white ghost. Slowly, it came down the stairs. Yow, cried Gladstone. Quick, everybody hide. Everyone dived for the nearest hiding place. Gladstone, called Daisy. Where are you? The ghost floated across the room. The ghost headed right for Daisy. Help, she cried. No one moved, except Donald. Get away from Daisy, whoever you are, said Donald. He pulled out his sword. Donald swung at the ghost. He caught its sheet with the tip of his sword and pulled the sheet off. Hi, Uncle Donald, said Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Look, said the clown, it's Donald's nephews in bat costumes. What are you doing here, yelled Donald. I thought you went home after I chased you away. Sorry, Uncle Donald, said Huey. We were just having a little fun. Donald knew all the time that the bats were his nephews, cried Gladstone Gander. Some hero. Gladstone laughed and laughed. 
Oh, brother, said Donald. Maybe Donald knew about the bats, said Daisy, but he didn't know about the ghost. I didn't see you coming to my rescue, Gladstone. Daisy went over to Donald and gave him a hug. My hero, she said. Gladstone felt very small and very silly. Without saying a word, he left the party. Hooray for Donald, cried the guests. The band began to play. Come on, Daisy, said Donald. The music is starting. Dance with a real hero, me. The end. God, I'm really tempted to do a duck voice. <laughs> Oh, very silly. Hey, you just left. <laughs> Dance with a real man! Me! 